It's a it's a winery. In Puerto Rico? In Puerto Rico. Okay, I'll be here. But I'm gonna show you. The the, the tomahawk steaks, oh. they, that's the stuff that they and they give you the red wine to pair with the steaks. Oh really? Nice. I'm gonna show you right now. I just gotta Called Vinos de Puerto Rico, Finca Villave, Vinos de Puerto Rico. So basically, let me give you a little. Oh my god, look at that tomahawk. Look at that steak right there. What is that called again? Vinos de Puerto Rico. Yeah, and let me ask you, is it um, how much is that? I'm gonna prices, I don't know. They usually work on the weekends. Uh, I'll send you the info, or if you look it up, okay, but I'll send you the info. But that's why I wanted to take you. Where is that? Uh, one of the highest central Puerto Rico is, is it something of one of the highest parts of Puerto Rico, Uruguay, Puerto Rico. But let me ask you, was that uh, affected? No, 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 no. So you see, sold out, sold out, sold out. So these, are, when you see the little, this is for March. Yeah. So, and I could buy that online. I'm pretty sure you can. It was funny because I already started putting my schedule together and I have two days that are kind of like open because I, I was like, I'm leaving on my wife enough they want to go see a mortal or um, the Yunque or the Loki. Kids? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I could do something like that with the kids too because it's me. We're, we're going to eat. Or it's more yeah, just but adults. No, no, but I don't. No, no, you can definitely take the kids. I don't know if they will appreciate. Yeah, no, they're not. So it's it's wine right there. But the, the oh pizza. Oh yeah. They do. They do. Um, oh, they do. Oh, this fucking shit. vino with oh. palcha. That's passion fruit. Palcha oh, wow. is passion fruit. Spent the whole day there. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's like four or five hours. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a winery, so it's a it's a it's a big thing. I'm trying to get you to see the pizza. Oh, here we go. It's oven, it's brick oven pizza. So, see. Wow. How far is that for someone? It's Utuado is, is, is like I said in the center and the high, high one of the highest peaks of Puerto Rico. Really. So it'll probably take you like two two and a half hours to get there. Well. Yeah. But it's a great place to. It's a great place to. They invited me to big action tonight. Lots of donkeys confirmed. Can you make it? You're the, you're the last confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Breeze Shooters. Uh, we're the show that brings you news, sports, poker, and everything in between. You can't go ahead of yourself, Lewis. Played last time, now you want to jump on the spot. I can't keep up with this shit. I give up. I give up. Who the hell are you going to play to? Great job! <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pre Shooters. Uh, the show that brings you news, sports, poker, and everything in between. We love the tweeners! I'm your host, Lou, joined by my very good friend, Chris. Yes, sir. And uh, we should have done this before the, we started the thing. Let's, uh, let's start off with our sponsor, Letty's Cuisine. Where you get authentic Puerto Rican food, acapurias, pasteles. Acapurias y pasteles, for those who speak Spanish. Because apparently my, my friend wants to act like he's in Park Slope. Uh, <laughs> he's a Park Slopian now. Actually, you have that. Why don't you, why, why are we working hard? I have what? The drop. Oh, snap! Yeah, you're making me work hard. See, you, you, you're supposed to be on the one No, but you, you know what it is, Lou? No, no, you, you fucked is? up. You fucked up. <laughs> You fucked up, but I'll tell you why you fucked up. You fucked up because you fucked up because um uh yeah this is this is not ever since you switched I, I don't say nothing, Louis, but <laughs> um no no because uh, do you say the pasteles and the capurias here? You no, do. I, I, I said it first. Oh, okay, okay, that's, that's all I wanted to know. Sponsors! Woo! 
Yo, Chris, what's up, brother? Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, Louis? How's everything, man? What's going on? I'm, a, I'm, a, you know, normally I'm, I'm, I'm nice, calm, cool, and collective, but, 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 I, but something's been gnawing at me, man. What's that, brother? I got, I got a. Uh, you know, I'm not the great. We, we talked about hosting and stuff. You know, I'm not the greatest host. Like I, I get, ner- I'm not, I'm not built for hosting. I got some fucking out of town that's coming next weekend. Ooh. And I wanna. They was talking about Chris. You know, you're always flashy with Puerto Rico here, Puerto Rico there. And I wanna give him that flavor. And and I'm stuck. Besides the rice and beans, I'm stuck. Yo, I got something for you. Stop. Actually, a sponsor of Breeze Shooters. First official sponsor of Breeze Shooters. You got a sponsor? Sponsor. Letty's. Letty's Cuisines. Yo, authentic Puerto Rican dishes. No. I'm talking acapurias. Acapurias. You don't gotta, you don't gotta, you don't gotta, I don't have to, I have to, I have to, I don't like, I don't like the accent. Papeles. Papeles. Coquito. Coquito. Coquito, yes. No, Coquito? Coquito. And all the good stuff. She has all the flavors. She has rice and beans. You, She caters stuff, too. So, 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 give, give me the info, dude. Let, better pay attention. All right. Here we go. Talk to me. Letty's Cuisine. Letty's Cuisine. You can hit her up at 917-539-2413. Okay. Again. Say, say, say that again. I, 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 say that again. 917 Two four one three, or better yet, Chris. I know you're always on your phone. You can shoot her an email at L for nine, which is just spell out here because I, I sometimes, sometimes your lips, your lips gets in the way. <laughs> that's that's L F E R N A two four eight eight at AOL dot com. Say it one more time, please. That's L yes for F E R N A. 2488 at AOL.com. I'm, I'm gonna shoot a text and shoot an email because I I, I I need the I need the goods. And let me tell you something even better. If your order is big enough, they will deliver. No. I'm making a call right now. That's Lucky's cuisine. Lucky cuisine. Peace. I haven't fought since 92, <laughs> but it's coming back to me. But why? Why would you want to no, fight me? Stop. Yo, you're not my order correct for Spanish. No. Sometimes you got to let me stumble. No, 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 maybe no, 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 no. Maybe I want to sound like Mike Bloomberg. You no, know what I'm no, Bloomberg. no. Listen, that's, that's what I'm trying to get you away from. And that's what actually upsets me about this. Because I know, see, you see, um... A, 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 a. No, no, I just, tread, I just, tread, tread lightly. I just, tread gotta, light. I just, <laughs> you got light, honey? You I, no, 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 I just, I'm trying to find the proper words without sounding offensive because I'm not trying to offend you. Oh, too late. It's too late for that. <laughs> Sorry, 20 something years. I have a conversation with, with, with your sister Letty, and I'm talking to a true Puerto Rican. She is. She lived over there, no, no. Chris. I don't have that on my resume. You don't have to live over there, Lou. Your mother was Puerto Rican, man. It comes from the mother. It comes from the mother. What do you mean? It comes... Your Puerto rican does spoke, not... My just mother, because... My mother spoke good broken English and we got along well. Exactly. So I know your mother was also true Puerto Rican. So when I hear you say Al Capurias, it upsets me. Al Capurias. <laughs> yo. <laughs> and you do it on purpose. Yo, this is working. I know. Oh my she God. told me... She told me, Chris, you better hurry up because Louie's eating everything. That's what she told me. And I'm like, Letty, you know. I know she didn't have that conversation because you were on speakerphone. She told me that. You didn't hear her? She's a liar. No, I, I believe her. I believe her because she, <laughs> she she went through she went through a lot of capurias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, um, guys, I can't uh say this enough. This pistachio coquito is uh delicious. Has the right kick. For those of, of you who are on a loose fan base, Coquito is basically spiced coconut it's eggnog. eggnog. Spiced coconut eggnog, you know, with a, with a nice kick of of, uh, of that Puerto Rican, uh, Puerto Rican rum. It's the you know. essence of the island. Egg, egg. And my sister cooks with love. Oh, my God. She does, she does, she does. So, just so you know, what we're sponsoring right here is this her new pistachio uh, line. 
and how she does it without giving out too much information. Yeah, don't give don't, don't give out the recipe. It's from scratch. She makes her own paste where she grinds the. Pistachios. No wonder so delicious. Yeah, it's natural, and um, you're giving too much information. People are gonna start copying. No, she, but there, there, there's still more to that. You know, my sister doesn't even give me the recipe. She shouldn't. Anything. She shouldn't because she knows you crack. <laughs> you you about to tell everybody on in YouTube land. It's the secret she's, set recipe. She, she's gonna call me out. On I'm pretty sure she should. Yo, but so up up in her neck of the woods. There, um, it's on high demand. So what the she did the wrong thing. She gave a sample to uh, one of her white girlfriends. Uh-huh. She said, "Oh my god, O M G!" Next thing you know, <laughs> eight girls are at the house. Nice, and they're having a coquita party. And then he's like, "I can't keep up with these people. They're killing me." So now she's upping up the because, like I said, with the pistachio, it's it's more, a process, more labor intense. So she got to spread it out. Not only that, the regular coquito she got on stash though. Yeah, as she does. Um, uh, um, uh, call her for prices very affordable. If your order is big enough, <laughs> Johnny will deliver. Exactly. So um, the, the electrician, the electrician, and he might give you a free light. Yeah, <laughs> while you're there, you got an electrician, you got an electrical problem. You know, ask him a question. That's free of charge. Um, also, uh, alcapurrias, este, pasteles, bacalaitos. She is a, a a great great cook and uh, delicious delicious. I just can't get enough. Uh, I, I I'm gonna order two more bottles. Because I got people coming over. I might have Ooh. to order more. Well, they might not leave. That's the problem. You can't make no, it no, too good. No, no, they'll leave. <laughs> Believe me, they'll leave. <laughs> when they find themselves... <laughs> you go to the basement, turn <laughs> off the heat. All right. No, no. I'll, I'll start shutting off lights from parts of the the apartment. Put a lock on the bathroom. That's that's the key right they there. They closed it? You oh. put a lock on the bathroom. You know, it's out of order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, so Chris, um, have you been keeping up with the news? I know you just got back. I I I I uh, um, believe it or not, I saw something which we tapped on last week. Uh, I saw something and uh, um, it was just uh, it was it was it was uh, a tidbit. Yeah, it, it, actually, it was a cruise line and oh yeah, 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 the American the coronavirus, the corona, folks coronavirus trapped people. on the, on the yeah, cruise. Yeah, so yeah. No, no. Well, there was something that came up and I thought it, it would have been interesting. Uh, for you to hear. So this guy, right, is labeled as a jerk punches woman's seat. He's on an airplane. You know the last row on the airplane, I, I sat there, the most uncomfortable thing because you can't recline. You can't lean back. You're right against the wall. So imagine this guy's here and the woman in front of him reclines all the way back. This dude just loses his shit. He just starts punching the chair. What the fuck? You don't <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. So a viral video shows a tall man cramped in an American airline seat Eventually, in the very, uh, um, sorry, sorry, evidently in the very back of the plane, behind a woman with her seat reclined, the man appears to be steadily hitting the seat back in, in retaliation. It's not clear why the woman isn't just asking him to stop or involving a flight attendant. I guess she was just, you know, taking the blows to the, to the back of the chair. And he's there banging, and he's like, come on. So this video, you know, it went viral. Uh, the dude is in the last seat on the plane, and um, <laughs> and the seat doesn't recline. And so, uh, what's going on? That's one, bananas. On one hand, if the woman, uh, so they, they ask him right or wrong. They, they, you know, they're doing an analysis. Who's right or wrong? They say, on one hand, if the woman knows her seat behind her doesn't recline, it's not cool if she leans back. And I not all the, that, not- that's what I wanted to ask you. Now, when a man doesn't have that option, on the other hand, uh, repeatedly punching the seat is a weak source. Just take it up. Just take it up with the airline. How how do you, if you're in that situation, what what you what, what what do you think? How he should have handled that, and is he right for reacting the way he did? Couple of situations, couple of scenarios where it could play out. Okay. If I'm first of all, it's I, a big dude. I'm not, tall. I'm not He's gonna. Tall I'm not gonna. I'm not. Um, unless this was his first flight, I'm not sitting in the, in the lap. I I know better. Uh, there's certain places I don't get the middle seats. I make sure that my seats is an aisle seat or the window seat. In that order, I'm an aisle guy. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an aisle guy. I don't want to step over anybody. I don't want to step over down. anybody, and I want to be able to have that, that to put my leg out. You know, Even though that cart, when it comes down, sometimes 
Got my elbow out. It'll hit my elbow. Um, uh, I I make it hit because every time they hit you, at least every time they hit me, you get a free drink. I get a free drink. Yeah, yeah. So, so free you, alcohol. You just, so, you just so I just it. smack. Ah! <laughs> Uh, on the other hand, uh, so, okay, so let's just say he didn't know any better and he's, and he got that seat in the back or, you know, you know what you do? Pay the fucking extra $35 and get extra leg, leg room space. That's, that was part of the conversation we're having this weekend. $35. That's enough. $35 and it's going to... Chris, avoid. that's the best seat there. The, 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 that first row after first class, yeah. you have the most leg yeah, extension. You do. You're a tall dude, but then again, I don't know how often this guy flies. He, look, he sounds like he was having a bad experience. Shh. But you got to ask yourself, though, a little common courtesy, though. Chris, before you recline, you don't look behind you? No. See... You're one of those sad No, no, but let, me, but let me... I always look behind me. Look, because I don't know if the guy has his tray down. That's, he could be in the middle of eating. It's just a little common courtesy. Uh, well, you We're know... We're all going to have courtesy. Let me explain something to you regarding that. These seats are designed... Absolutely. So so you can lean back and it won't affect the tray. No, that's not true. It doesn't affect the tray. That's not true. It's, if you have a cocktail, Chris, there's a... And you, you come back... Like, if you're, you're a big dude, if you come back too fast, you're going to make that cup move. But who does who does that? No, but sometimes you can't control it. It could be a malfunction with the seat, or it could just be you don't. You, you, you all don't I'm saying, the, you don't know you all I'm saying is, uh, uh, let's just say I'm the I'm the lady, and I'm leaning back, and I lean because I lean all the way back because I want to try to get a Fat Joe, on, you know, hey. <laughs> so I lean back. So uh, I would expect if I'm making the person behind me uncomfortable, I would expect him or her to tell me, listen, um. My seat, my 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 seat does not recline, and you leaning all the way back. Can you move it up a little bit? No, it's no, like when no. you get in the car. Absolutely. You know, you get in the car, and, and always you ask the person, "Are you good? You want me to move up?" Yeah, that type of shit. I'll still lean back, but I'll you know, but but but. Remember, instead of going all the way, you probably go three quarters. I'll go three halfway. quarter halfway, yeah. or you know, or uh, you know, that's what I would do. But it all depends on how you co- come at me, because you come come at me sideways. Now courtesy's out the window. Now you know what I paid. I paid a uh, hundred and fifty dollars for this for this for this plane ticket. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm get comfortable. No, absolutely. Listen, nobody nobody's disagreeing with the guy. It's just the way he went about it. And as a female too, come on, dude. Like, what are you doing? But he he. It says he was a tall man, so probably when it came back, it was right on him. And he's like, "Come on, man, that's just." I don't think for it would, you to be that oblivious. I, that's why I say I don't. Think, I think it's just good practice. To I don't look think. Back. I don't think it would. It would, it would, it would be. No, not like that, that close. No, 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 but close enough. Not even close, that close. Close enough where I can see her scalp. And be like, hey, hey. <laughs> lady, didn't get us. Like you know when you fake when you're on the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to get money. Oh, you, no, you, you, you don't want to. I money. don't do that, but I, I hear. People do that. No, I get. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. If I don't want to give money, I, I definitely. No, 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 no. I'm talking about you don't want to give up your seat. To who? You're not gonna get me to go there. No. To who would you? Who? To who you would like to give up your seat on a train station? On a train, Lewis. Who? Elderly what, person, an, pregnant lady, pregnant lady, a woman. Because I'm a gentleman. No, no, no. Uh, we're equals. We equals. I don't want to fall in. Moving I forward. <laughs> I don't want to fall no discrimination suit oh, and all that man. shit. I treat a woman just like I would treat any other human being. Yeah. So that that was a uh, that was big talk. In weird news. Right? Weird news. A fast work. Uh, a fast food worker has been fired after a video was posted online showing him taking a bath in the restaurant's industrial size sink. The clip was uploaded to TikTok where it was viewed uh, thousands of times. Before being widely shared on other social media platforms, it shows a man sitting in the sink with a soapy water on his on his shoulders at a branch of Wendy's in America, while another person throws a cloth into the water and tells him to wash himself. The man wipes his chest before laughing and saying, "It feels like a hot tub, and I'm just enjoying it, enjoying life, boss." What do you think about that? So we got a big got a big sink, the industrial size sink. Uh-huh. And so I wish he, you could see the photo. He, so he went inside. He, I guess he put the, the, the cork yeah, to stop yeah, the water. And he took a bath in there. And, that, and that's, uh, what's that, the Huff Post news? That's Huffington, that, Huffington. The Huffington Post, that's what that news article came from. So what do you think about that, knowing that... Uh, that's, it's, just, it's just like you just started the segment. It's like a weird, it's a weird, it's a weird thing to do. Like, you, you want to get fired? Like, am I doing this to get fired? Looks like you didn't give a fuck. Am I doing this to get uh, to get a uh, compensation? Uh, so people can say, "Listen, you're, you're mentally ill." Let me, 
You know who does? Who well, does? Well, he posted it like on that? TikTok, so it's for life. Oh, so he probably he, yeah, he, he's he's a clout chaser. Yeah, but no. What do you think about? I mean, this is like a, I guess a deeper conversation in total in general with with fast food joints. What do you think about the stuff that you hear that goes on? Like this is crazy. I can imagine other shit that doesn't get uh, recorded. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Mm-hmm. I haven't eaten fast food in quite some time. Uh, it's because I've chosen to try to eat a little bit healthier, but it always, it always, I always question myself. Who's the one making my burger, at Mickey D's? Who's the one you taking my? Know. You never know. And the thing is. A person like me, I don't like pickles in my burger. Mm-hmm. So I'll tell you, let me get a double quarter pounder with cheese, no pickles, please. And a couple of times, I still get the pickle flavor. So what what leads me to believe is that they just took out the bun, to remove the bun, grabbed the pickles, took it out, put it back. You know, so if I would be allergic to pickles, I would still catch and, you know, and, and, and this is bad. Now, if you send that back, you run the chance of it's gonna come back with some element of surprise. <laughs> Listen, I had some friends that worked at fast food. Oh, I guarantee you. No, it's of back course, there. of course, of course. So, so you know, uh, it's just bad. It's just bad. I've seen a lot of disgusting uh, stories, uh, um, uh, but it's 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 disturbing. It really is. It really is. So I just try to steer away from 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 these uh, fast food uh, restaurants. At the end of the day, you know. There's other people prefer- preparing your food, so. Let's uh, you 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 brought it somewhere. Let's stay on there for a second. Burgers. Okay. All right. Top five burger spots. Now this is mind you. You can eat burgers anywhere. Top right? five burger spots. Yeah. We're talking about fast food or or a- anything. Anything. Well, I have a I have a, a um. Uh, I have a. What did you say? Like, uh, I'm a little bit biased with the with the diner burgers. The diner. I like that. that could be up there. That yeah, could be, you, you know, you call I, it a diner I, burger. Di- di- you know, they just, they just yeah, those, taste, those burgers they are good. taste different. They yeah. taste different. So, diner burgers, diner, top one? I'll, I'll put that top one. And then, uh, 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 number two, Five Guys burgers, pretty good. Five Guys, you like Five Guys? Five Guys burgers, pretty good. Honestly, I had it once. I, uh, you didn't like it? It was, it was all right. The I, fries are delicious. The fries are good. It's that Cajun seasoning. What else? Uh, um, oh, for a guy like you, I'm surprised this would take. You. No, because I'm trying to steer away from no, no, McDonald's and no, all I'm that saying, stuff. No, keep it hundred. Uh, yeah, keep keep yeah. it hundred. It could be fast food uh, too. Uh, no, no, that's why I said I mentioned Five Guys. Uh, um, uh, well, Five Guys is more natural. It's not like uh, even though it's a chain, it's not like uh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack is good. The smoke. Shack Burger and Shake Shack is straight crack. I know they sprinkle crack on it. They have to. That, put that on my two. Put, bring two, five, yeah, five, put guys five guys down, down, down there. And, and uh, um, you know which one is good also? Um, they're kind of small, but they're good. Uh, the Mark Wahlberg, he has one in Coney Island. What uh, uh, Wahlburger? Is, is that what it's called? Call? I don't know. I don't even know. I never had it. Really? Uh, next time you're in Brooklyn, I know that's not that doesn't happen often. But next time you're in Brooklyn in the slums, go to Coney Island. Chris, you know I work in Coney Island, right? No, you don't. Okay, so go ahead. What's your fifth burger, Chris? <laughs> uh, my fifth burger, my fifth burger. I'm gonna go with. Uh, the lamb burger in Bear Bear Burger in Park Slope. That's that that burger is good, man. Yo, Chris, you're giving me some generic burgers, and none of them are. What? The only thing generic there is Five Guys. Everything and, and, and Wall Burger. Wall Burgers, Five Guys. And, um, the diner's not generic, and and and, and Bear the Burger. burger that's not generic. That's, that's healthy shit. And the Lamb Burger. All right, you ready? Go ahead, go ahead. White Castle, top burger ever. That's number one. Okay. Number two is Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Uh, number three is, believe it or not, I'm gonna say Wendy's Burger, the 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 bacon. Uh, is that the Baconator? The Baconator. Baconator. That's and the then good. That good. probably could be number one. That's how good it is. But once in a while, it's gonna miss the double quarter pounder at McDonald's. I love the double quarter pounder. Why didn't make your list? I didn't make my list because I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to. I'm trying you to. Know, steer, the, the, I'm trying to. Steer, with no, them. no. I'm trying to steer people from eating that, that garbage. And then. 
like yourself, I would have to say a diner. A good the diner burger, burger with yeah. the nice steak fries. Oh, oh my God. It's delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I don't know why I went there. Maybe because I'm hungry. I yeah, you lunch. probably are hungry. Um, All right. So we I got have, that. I haven't, I have, believe it or not, I haven't eaten nothing. I've had two cups of coffee. Ah, no, I'm lying. I had a half a bag of pork rinds. Chris. You, you, you know that the, the bodegas and the pizzeria, they know me. No, I know. I get reports. They I get updates. No, but I haven't. I, I'm going to make that a thing on Twitter where we're following you. I'm going to put GPS right. on your ass. Right. See all the stores you go to. I can, Listen, I could pass by a lot of stores. doesn't mean I stop. No, no, no. The GPS tracks when you stop. I could stop for the light. At a store? No, no, no. To cross the street. I, I could stop at a light. For, yeah. All right, moving along. There's a lot of floors. There's a lot of floors. I st- I wanted to talk to you about this. Go ahead, shoot. All-Star Game. NBA All-Star Game. Oh, my God. I didn't see it. I did see. I saw the the format has changed, right? And it was more engaging, right? Lou, I've been watching, you know, where where, uh, you were somewhat of an athlete. I was a multi-athlete, triathlete, three sports. What's the third sport? I'm sorry. I forget sometimes. Uh, Football, baseball, basketball. So, football. Football. You play Football. I never, I never liked. I never liked getting hit. But, but I did play football. <laughs> you have a serious conversation. I have a serious conversation. No, Just because you laugh doesn't make this serious, Lou. Alright, go ahead, go ahead, go, 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 Chris. So, All Star Game. Love the all, all. Been, 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 been a fan of the All Star Game for, 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 forever. Let me tell you, the NBA does it right, man. When they, um, I think that's what separates them from the other sports when they do the All Star Game. First of all, like I said, I didn't see the whole game in its full entirety, but what was the city? It was Chicago? Chicago. What Sh- they Chi-town. did? What they did on the floor? That was beautiful, Chris. That was the Highlighting Skyline. the city in the back. Skyline, I, I yeah. like that. That was very beautiful. That um, I wasn't too crazy with the West uniforms, but I do like the whole thing with the charities. Now that there's something at, at stake. Well, I, there's a, they always play for charities. Did they? But, but this time it's quartered. This time it's qu- every quarter. Every quarter. You, uh, every quarter is a, is basically a game. So whoever wins the first quarter wins a hundred thousand dollars for their charity of choice. The team. The uh, captain's choice. The captain's choice. Which was uh, LeBron, LeBron and the Greek freak. Yeah, exactly. Then your second quarter was the second quarter. And in this case, the third quarter, they ended tied. So that 100000 rolls over to the fourth quarter. Wow. So that fourth quarter became a $300,000 quarter because the fourth quarter was a uh, uh, one fifty. It was, was no, double. Yeah. So... Um, and guys were playing. They no, were, this is they what, were this freaking going at This is what I'm trying to tell you. Never in my life have I saw a All Star game where they 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 played deep. They they wanted to win. It was like a regular season. It was like a game. regular season intense game, and um, uh, Kyle Lowry found new respect for him. Uh, he was catching charges. For Philly's own. For, yeah, for, he plays for the Toronto Raptors. For his original from Philly. He was catching charges, Lou, so in an All Star game. He did it twice. Wow. He did it twice. Uh, tried it. Tried it. Happy. Tried it four times. I know his coach wasn't happy. You don't so, want to get hurt. And there. his coach was the his coach. Oh yeah, his coach was, was, was the head coach, coach, head coach yeah. of, the, of the of the East uh, of Team Giannis. I mean, um, and you said it was like a record, right? In dunks, like for the first half, it was like no. There, I don't know if that was a record, but what they did to to so you could. Take in perspective how serious it got in the fourth quarter. In the first three quarters, there were 49 total dunks. In the fourth quarter, there was only one dunk. That's how serious it got. It got real serious. Uh, so basically, every quarter is a, is a game on itself. Then they add up. After three quarters, they add up uh, the totals. And they add 24 points. Now, the time clock disappears. And whoever, so like I said, if it's uh, they add on, let's just say the highest total points of one team was 150 points, they add 24 points to that for Kobe, for Black Mamba, for, for Black Mamba in honor of Black Mamba of Kobe Bryant. So, so that last quarter is no longer on time. It's like it's, playing 21. Whoever it, gets the 21 whoever, first, whoever gets the 21 wins first. the game. Exactly. Yeah. And, the and target, I, that's a really cool concept because you take the professional I, aspect out. I love it. Just pick up. Matter of fact, I have an idea to make it even better. Refs walk off. 
let them call their own fouls like a straight up pickup game. No, it'll get it, 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 it got crazy. It got crazy. No, it got crazy. It got, it got crazy. crazy. So but it got crazy because there's refs there. They need they need the refs. Yeah. Because these people are these these are high competitive people. And yeah. the thing is, so they added on. So the target was 157 points. Uh, no that's time, no, points, no, man. no time, no time, no time, no, but it's not. For those guys, yeah, that's an uh, average all star game. Basically, it's like 24, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, uh, it was awesome. Like, I was literally on the edge of my seat watching this game. Like, it was a New York Nick Miami Heat playoff game. That's how that fourth quarter got me. Wow. It was, it was intense. The Greek freak, intense personified. So that block uh, on LeBron James. Oh man. my God. That timing on That's that. That's crazy. And they're still discussing whether that was a goaltender. Still, I still don't know if it was a goaltender or not. <laughs> I but think the, he caught it right the, there, the, but the, that's it hard was, Yeah, the ref made the right call. It was a jump ball. That kid's a freak. Uh, but yeah, he is. He is. Uh, uh, Kawhi Leonard won MVP. Yeah, my man. He went. The he, claw. He went. He went off. He he was he was on fire. Three. He like the first half. He was seven to eight. But Anthony Davis won it though, right at the foul line. I he think. won it that last uh, to to get to the target uh, uh, score. Uh, Anthony Davis went to the free throw line and hit, missed the first one, got the second one to win the game. Well, very 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 competitive. Like I really, I hope they stick to it. No, they and, will. They and will. whatever they do, if they want to tweak yeah, it, they tweak got you it, like that. No, Can you imagine all the other fans. They must be. Let me ask you though. Do you happen to catch the slam dunk? Because I didn't see. Any I of that. saw the slam Who dunk contest. No, no, Levine wasn't in it. Uh, no, he wasn't in it because he was talking about he wanted to do a three sixty for the foul. Line. Yeah, but he wasn't in it. Uh, the Aaron Aaron Gordon from Orlando got robbed again. How that he, kid is nice. <clears throat> Let me put it to you this way, Lou. His first five dunks, uh-huh. he got fifties. Oh, so he ran out of stuff. No, 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 no. That's the thing. He didn't run out of stuff. Is that so? Then the, not taking nothing away from Derrick Jones Jr. To, to do the kid could fly. Yeah. But Aaron Gordon, you know who Taco, the, the guy from Boston, the seven for five yeah, guy, yeah, Taco yeah, Four, yeah, I think his yeah, name yeah, is. Yeah. Aaron Gordon jumped over, him? jumped over him for his that final tall, dunk, man. and they gave him a forty six. You know what this is after a while. You That's what happened. Saying, yeah. they, 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 but they could have given him that little early. Nah, man. no, he, all his dunks, Lou, was well was, were on point. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. The judges, have, the, the, judges the, the, uh, the judges were Scottie Pippen. Uh, uh, um, what's this girl? Uh, I find her so sexy, man. And um, uh, the the, the tall girl. Uh, Not Lisa Leslie, right? No, 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 no. Uh, but uh, she's from from. Oh, the, oh, I know you're talking about from the LA. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is, is, isn't it Leslie? No, too? no, it's not Leslie. I'll get back to her. I, I shouldn't forget her name. Uh, um, Camden Par- uh, uh, Ca- Ca- uh, Parker. Parker. Candace Parker. Parker. Candace, Candace Parker. Parker. Uh, you had the guy Wakanda Forever, the actor. Oh, really? He was there. He was. He was. He was a judge. You had D Wade, and I'm missing somebody. Who am I? Who am I missing? I'm missing a. It's usually, uh, isn't it like a what's his name? Uh, was it Dominique? It's usually it, an old school guy. It could have been Dominique. Is he Julie serving? No, Julius was Ju- Julius was in the crowd. What's the guy from the Celtics? The old timer, the Parish? No, no, the other the senator that won ten championships. Bill Russell. Bill, Bill Russell, Russell was there, but Bill Russell is a. Uh, He's, he's 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 old and he's you know he needs a he needs oh, somebody to help yeah assistant oh, okay. but it, I think it was Dominique um you know, no wait, wait a minute Candace, wait a minute wait a minute Scotty Pippen Candace Parker uh the Wakanda guy the Black Panther guy that's three then I had a a, a D Wade I'm missing somebody I want to say he's it's Dominic Wilkins I'm not it might not be Dominic I'm missing the thing magic. was huh magic no it wasn't oh, magic okay. so the thing was. That they were giving out fifties to well, pretty much to, easily. Well, I want to say easy, but they were giving out fifties. So when it came down to it, they gave Derrick Jones for his like a forty-eight for his last dunk, and then Aaron Gordon comes dunks over Taco Fall, seven foot five guy, and they give him a forty-six. And it, it, was, uh, it was it was it was it was he, he, he Aaron Gordon said I'm done with the he got robbed twice because he got yeah, robbed with the with the, the first the, time when he the did that thing under the legs yeah 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 that, that kid, was that's crazy freakish athlete but I'm glad you brought us here because because um actually over the weekend right so um I don't, I forget where the hell I'm at but I was like I was just counting the amount of uh, Jordans that kids had adults kids and Chris I'm because it was like uh, maybe a twenty minute. Uh, 
uh, period where I was transitioning from one building to the next, and it just you know I'm a sneakerhead, so I saw a, a fresh pair of Jordans, and I'm looking at all oh, those are fly, those are new, and I'm walking, I see another one, and I'm idling right now because I'm waiting for somebody okay. to go to another building, and I just see people crossing. I want to say close to 75 pairs of sneakers, and I was probably out there a little longer, maybe half hour. And I'm like, God damn. You know the first pair of Jordans came out in the 80s, Chris? That's crazy. In the 80s. Yeah. So it made me, you know, so when I when I, when I get these stupid things, I, um, battery. Mm -hmm. So when these things happen to me, I start doing a little research. First of all, happy birthday, Michael Jordan. It was just his birthday. Yeah, yeah. It was his birthday. So I was like, how does, how much, uh, how much do you think Jordan earns from Nike in sales now? Um, I'm talking about what is it, forty something years? I want I want to say oh well, well, well with, the, with the Jordan brand is it, you know uh, I want to say I want to say he's up in the four hundred million three hundred million. Uh, do you have do you have? In sales? I'm talking about annual sales though. So it says um, yeah annual sales. The business of being Michael Jordan is still booming, and he will make an estimated one hundred and forty five million in twenty nineteen. This is twenty nineteen. Just sneaker sales. Just sneak. This is all from Nike that he still gets. A hundred forty. But remember, I think his brand is Jumpman. I don't think he gets paid off the Jordan. Jordan, you know the Air Jordans. I don't know. I don't know because I I remember at the time I think my, Nike might have given him seventy five million dollars for that logo. They bought the logo off him. Really. But the Jumpman brand, that's his. But he's still making one hundred forty nine million. Yeah. So 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 so. Unless something. So is they, Jordan they making Jordans? I don't think so, cause uh, all they're doing is just. That's good to. I, I, we're gonna. we gonna. That's good to look up. So, uh, 149 million, right? From that alone, he bought the Charlotte. Uh, what are they called? Hornets. Hornets. Oh, Hornets. He paid like 140 million. Now they're worth like 1.3 billion dollars. So Jordan's, he, the amount of money that he's made after post NBA is amazing. But I was surprised that he was making that much money. 149 million. With the amount of seekers. I search, thought. No, I thought he was making more. Yeah, no, nah, I, I honestly, truthfully, and you know what? I got to no, look that Jordan, up. No, the Jordan brand is, I think, belongs to Jordan, man. No, he, he sold that. You should look that up. I will look that I'm up. I'm going to, I'm going to, can you disconnect this? I don't want to. Uh, oh, you need it? All right, cool, yeah, no problem. Just, uh, just so we, uh, you know. The thing is, I got to take this out, so. Okay. No, we're good, we're good. So, so what, what are your favorite Jordans? Uh, I'm a six and seven guy. Six and seven. Yeah. And why? Just because the way it looks, or do they have a the style. nostalgic uh, reason? No, no, just well, um, give me a second. Well, actually, Chris, it, it, it says uh, Michael Jordan owns a percentage of Air Jordans. No. What happened? No, it says Michael Jordan owns a percentage of Nike, which in turn uh, owns Jordan brand. Jordan has had a seat on the board of directors of Nike for years, so his influence isn't just limited to Jordan brand. So, uh, so he's not, he's not, he's not. Jordan, the Jordan brand is not his. No, it is. I knew he, it. he owns a part of Nike. Okay, but the he Jordan brand is his. So well, it's not, yeah, it's, it's Nike. So he gets paid off that. So these are my favorites right here. These are awesome to play ball. Let me tell you. Seven, and these are the sixes. And you can see, I had these in high school, but we used to call them the bunnies. They were all great. No, no, no. The bunnies is a, is a different one. The bunny. The bunnies actually have like bunny. Like you, it has like a, like a little straps here that look like bunny ears. I don't know what what number are those, but I did have those in high school. Those are the uh, Olympic ones. They suck to play ball. In, to play I, the, the, the the Jordans, uh, the only Jordans that uh, I like to play ball in uh, are the uh, uh, I think the thirteens or something like that. No, not the, yeah, the thirteens. They're, they're the only ones that are comfortable. I do well, good to play ball in. But you see that you see they're very similar. Yeah. So this is the seven. This is the six. Damn, you have a lot of Jordans because I saw you with another pair of blue and white ones. Yeah. Um, uh, not as much, and these, these, I don't like these too these, much. Those, those are cool. I like those. These, these, I, I like them in white and black. They, though. Yeah, they call they call these this particular one the cap and gowns. Are these Jumpman or Air Jordans? No, these, they, these these are Jordans. 
These are the these are these are elevens, six and seven. I'm not I'm not a fan of the uh, the patent leather. The patent leather. I like patent leather. The patent leather. Oh, uh, you know, because they get scuffed easily. I've only worn these like three times, I think. Now let me ask you: When the Chinese guy comes to sell you the sneakers, he comes on Friday. Yeah, and yeah, he does. And, and 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 when when he's here, I make him. I make him glue on the jump man. He glues it he on. He in front of me just so I know he's authentic Chinese. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. Yo, one time my little Lou got a, got a pair of sneakers, right? Somebody gave him sneakers. And they were Jordan. He's like, oh, dad, these are fresh. He's got I said, yes, <laughs> Yo, let's go to the court. We no, went to the court. It did a hard right and broke. His foot came out. <laughs> wow. But you know what? Also, we had a situation where that happened to my son, Sean, all the time. Because Sean, luckily, he's coming up behind his uncles that they all had Jordans and they outgrew them. So Jordan and, and these, their Jordans, they were fresh because these guys were rock. Yeah, yeah. Georgie had like 40 pairs of Jordans. Get the fuck out so of here. So he was wearing one like every other month, so his foot grew. So he gave it to Sean. But the trick is, and like, I mean, I, like I said, I went into this whole rabbit hole about reselling sneakers, yeah. taking care of sneakers. You know those little bags that they put, those, I think it's sodium bags? Yeah. You need those if you're not going to wear your sneakers every day. You've got to have those in the box because what that does, it eliminates the moisture. It, it eliminates the moisture and it preserves the glue of the sneaker. Get the fuck out So we had, we had like eight pairs of Jordans. Sean was going to school every other day with a new pair of Jordans, but he would break them playing ball. So I was like, yo, are these just fake? I know they're not fake because they're legit. They're exactly. the best. It's just that I was talking to I my know. mother-in-law. She goes, Where's the, the little bags? I said, oh, I don't Your know. Your mother-in-law told you that? Yeah, she knew. She, I guess she knew from her time. She goes, that's why they put those bags in. Because I didn't know what those little bags, the purpose they serve. Because think about it. A sneaker sits in the store just, for months at a time. I just thought it was for the older thing. Like, I thought it was the older There's thing. There's no older than new sneakers. Brand well, new. But, well, the new older. The new older. The blue smell or whatever. I don't know. People want that. They want that smell. No, I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm not saying it, it, it smells bad. I'm just saying it could be for the older. Or I even thought it was something to to keep the mice and shit away or whatever. You, anybody else tell you special? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, so, what's up? You have anything else? Um. Uh. No. I want to stay on that. Uh. By the way, I want to be. I want to talk to that FF phone. Um. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Um. My first Jordans ever uh -huh. were the number 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 four. The number four was my first Jordan. I never got the number ones, never got twos. The threes and fours look look very similar. But my first Jordans ever were, uh, my first, by the way, my first expensive pair of sneakers, Lou? Uh-huh. Shell Top Adidas, South Bronx. To me, it was the Pumas. But, but Shell Top Adidas was... That was my first, my, my first, my first expensive pair of sneakers. I remember right now, it cost $55. Chris, you right. I'm sorry. I like the fours, too. The fours. Yeah, that, that was my first, that was my first, uh, my first sneaker. But you know what I want to splurge on? Um, and I saw Willie with them, the ones, the first ones. Willie? Yeah, Willie, but he had like a black, uh, he had blue. Blue, it was like a royal blue, dark blue, white. It's really good. Normally I see Willie either with, with, with dress boots or, or sandals. No, no, he's very Park Slopey. Very Park Slopey, I like that terminology. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to keep it nice for the people. You know what? <laughs> but, uh, I'm trying to find a pair that I, I, I I'll tell you the page. All you gotta do is put the, put, put, the uh, Jordan. Uh, no, I did, but I don't. These right here. You know, the threes or four. Oh, threes. I, to this day, that's the sneak I've been chasing my whole life. I never, A, when I was young, I couldn't afford it. I was always like $30 short. And now that I'm older, I can't justify paying that much. It just, Chris, I, I can't do it, man. I just, it kills me. It ki And I could afford it. It just kills me. I'm like, dude, I can't pay that much for a pair of sneakers. Okay, so I was going to buy me Yeezys. And oh, I said, no, oh, Yeezys are too much. No, no, it was two fifty at the store. But I said I just can't. That's a lot of fucking money for sneakers. That's a see. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but the Yeezys to me, like, I don't mind paying the two hundred, two fifty for for, for Jordans. But the Yeezys, like, uh, it's like, 
It's a sponge you shoot. It's a sponge you shoot. It, it, it's like the Nike. Exactly. Okay. It's like the Nikes that you run through them. But you be bucks. Yeah, exactly. Super comfortable. Exactly. That's what the Yeezys look like. Yeah, I'm not yet. So, so, so I. But even with the Jordans, I like it. But I, I am gonna. I'm these gonna are the most. These are those. Most, those are the those are best ones to play ball with. Yes. What number is that? I want to find out right now. Wait, give me the Yeezys. No. These are thirteens. I was right. Damn, I was right. Thirteen. Yeah. These are also good to play ball in. I never had those. But they are. What is that? That's seven. Well, no one says it right there. Yes. Seven. Oh, that's twelve. That's a 10? That's an X, and you know, that's a Roman that's number. That's what it looks like? 12. And these are also good to play Those ball. are the same ones that, that those are the 13. They are yeah. very comfortable to play ball in. Very, very comfortable. Those are the only ones that play ball in that I was like, all right. Because you're like yourself. I actually have a pair of Jordans but I, I, at home. And mind you, I got these at home. I only wore them one time. And they just, they were hard to break in, so I never. And I bet you when I go play with them now, they're going to probably break. Because it's been about nine years they've been sitting there. Really? Right? Yeah. I I um I, I try to take care of my key, I leave them in the box I try to keep take care of my um but regarding uh regarding um uh our mentalities has our mindset has 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 have, have changed throughout the years like we were we had no problem like I see boom boom was a sneak really no, no he's he's a sneaker head. Head. boom boom, yeah, boom. I'm, boom I've seen like, his yeah. pictures and I'm like this motherfucker has Easily a down payment for a house and, and, and yeah. sneakers alone, and he keeps them nice and fresh. Yo, know, these guys that have the storage things, the storage exactly. things, and they're storing them, but they fucking taking mass transit. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? There you go, get a fucking. And car. that's my problem. Yeah. So, and not only that, like I'm, I'm telling you, so um, uh, I don't have uh, I, I, in order for me to get joy, they have to really call. call I, I, wow, these are nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm gonna get them. But nice, once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself. Yes, yes. Like you flip them on, like wow, these feel good. I want to get these. Those look cool. I like. I want to get these on white and uh, and blue. I had them, and me as an idiot, I throw them in the washing machine and I fucked them up. That's how you clean things. You don't well, do it by hand. I, I, I do. Blue. I do it by hand now because yeah, I that, those that this sneak of white and blue, I fucking loved it and I fucked it up. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it soon. Uh, Luckily, you know, there's a few, um, uh, uh, like I said, um, they come out and, and you just, uh, me personally, if I want them and I know I could, I'm not going to, it's not going to hurt me or whatever, I'll definitely buy them. But uh, I got, like right now, I probably got uh, one, two, three, I got five pairs. And, I'm sorry, Chris, and the reason why I, I went down, what, wanted to discuss this is because... I was like, I, I, I guess I was out, out of touch a little bit with the whole Jordan thing, and then I had to step back and like take a look because I'm like, yo, why are guys wasting so much money? But then I started looking at the positive. I said these guys are generating revenue because now they're flipping them, and I, I like that. I like that. I like that kids are not that hustling like exactly. that. That was awesome. But then it gets even better. Now there's a segment of guys that maintain sneakers, maintenance. So. You you say your sneakers are fucked up. You bring it to this guy. So, so he's making him. money. Yeah. And I even heard that there's guys that glue it. They'll take out the old glue, right? If your sneakers come oh. apart, yo. And they, there's um there's a YouTube. I forget where he's from, but he'll restore your sneakers, Chris, and make them worth more than when you gave it to him. Because he'll paint them. He'll he'll restore. He'll do the glue, and they they look phenomenal. Freak. He'll take the whole sole off. Take out all the old glue. Dry it up, put new glue in, re wow. so it's like a brand new sneaker. So I was like, you know what? I said, there is a positive on yeah. this. Because now you're creating a lane for guys to make some money. I said, that's pretty cool, man. I have a problem with it. I had this conversation with a, with a mutual friend of ours. Um, you know, he, he's saying, ah, uh, you know, uh, Jordan could, 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 could uh, you know, kids are killing each other for sneakers. I, I think Jordan, he has enough money. He should, he should sell those sneakers for $100. And I'm like, that, that's above them, and, man. And, that's all control and, that. And not only that, Lou, you know what? The price that Jordan is selling the sneakers at, he could he could sell the the Jordan, he could sell these Jordans for five dollars. And if somebody wants them, they're gonna jack you. Or what you know, the price has nothing to do with it. No, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't. So, you know, for you to say, oh, you know, he has enough money, and so so I start so I start thinking, you see, you're looking at just one way. 
Do you understand how many jobs Jordan is creating? Yes. But Chris, it, it's deeper than that because Jordan is just a piece of Nike, like you, we, we just read earlier. I'm talking about the Jordan brand itself. The Jordan brand like the Jordan itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then again, there's got to be a board of directors. There's got to no, be no, no. You're, you're, you're responsible, yeah. and then you have shareholders. I think it's publicly yeah. traded company. Exactly. So the problem is, Stephon Marbury, great example, and I'm trying to get him for the show. I reached out to him a number of times, waiting for okay. the Stephon Marbury, what he did was he took his money and he created his own brand. He doesn't have no board of directors. He is, that's his so brand. He, so so when people hear those stories, they're like, oh, Steph did it, why can't Jordan? No, Jordan is a piece of Nike, and it's a very small piece, because they're a big conglomerate. They're yeah. strong. Yeah. And that corporation, Jordan is just the face. He's the key face that they generate revenue off. But he is not the owner of Nike. Exactly. Nike is much more. You got yeah. you got Tiger Woods. You got all these athletes that all work. For, they have no say in that. So not only that. So so then so then I told us Shaq is another one did that too. Uh, respect to Shaq. Shaq thought the prices were too high for like Nike Reebok one. So he went and created his own Shaq line. He, star he started with Reebok. Yeah, he started yeah. with Reebok. So I think Chris Webber tried that. And I I I, I commend those guys. But it's. You gotta put up your own money. You gotta go somewhere else. Yeah. You gotta. It's it's a little different. So I'm telling the I'm telling the dude. So he's very passionate. And, he, and we're having this conversation. We're having this argument. He's very passionate about how Jordan does this and does that. And he should bring out. Was he wearing? Was, was he wearing Jordan? Yeah, <laughs> so you know me. I would have loved to have been there. I'm, I'm letting, this, is, this is a 2 o'clock in the morning conversation in the corner. 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Those are the best I'm, conversations. I'm letting him, with the, I'm giving him the shovel. Oh, you, you, you're letting, it? I'm letting him dig himself deep and, and let him, and then, and then I'm saying, and then I tell him, so, so he goes into, you know, it, it, it probably takes him five dollars to make the sneaker. He it, 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 he's selling it for twenty. I think it's thirteen to, bucks. Right? Regardless yeah. of, of of the overturn, whatever you as a as a businessman, it's a smart move. You know, yeah. But then and then, oh no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. So I look at him dead in the face, bro, and I tell him, you, I see you're passionate about this. I'm very passionate, Chris, because it's fucked up. I said, you know what? I almost slipped over to the name. You know what? What you should do is, you're so passionate about it, stop wearing his sneakers. Look there right you, now. There you go, there you go, yeah. It, change uh, starts with one person. Crickets. <laughs> no, 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 no. He told me, no, I bought these last year. It doesn't matter. So stop rocking them, yeah. Stop putting them out there because what's the, how many people commended you on your, on, on your Jordans? He had, he had these in all red that day. On. Okay. These in all red. I said, how many people today, when you left your house, how many people commended you on your door? And you feel good, right? Because they told you all oh, those, are, those are hot, those are fire. <laughs> so come on, don't tell yeah. me, don't because it sounds hypocritical. No, uh, absolutely. You know, so absolutely. don't tell me, Jordan's doing this, Jordan's doing that. Meanwhile, you rocking Jordan, ba. So just, you know what? It takes one person to make a change. So what you should do, since you feel so, so passionate about it, Stop wearing them, or better yet, donate them mm -hmm. to, to people that might need them more than you do. Crickets. Yeah. Crickets. <laughs> you know, don't fuck. Oh, uh, another conversation was, uh, uh, you know what the problem is? It's a slave mentality, man. And we all like to say what I would do or what I would have done. No, tell me what you did. Don't tell me what you would have done. They, they get on, 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 uh, on, on, um, I think it was Jordan, I think Will Smith. There's a few people that invested in jail. Oh, no, because the majority of people are minorities. They got nothing to do with that. It's a business. It's a business. If it's a lucrative business, I got to think about the people I'm, 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 I'm supporting, the people I'm, I'm, I'm creating jobs for. It got nothing to do with me being an Uncle Tom or, or you know, it's a business move. This is a good, it's like me telling you, don't invest in Google, Lou. Now, Google gives you a great fucking, it'll, it'll give you a great a great opportunity to invest. Stocks at an all-time low, you're able to buy a thousand shares. But you know Google's, a, or even Nike, since we're talking about Nike, you're not going to invest because of the poor conditions of whatever, whatever. You don't think, you you know, at the end of the day, it's business. 
And that's what people don't understand. They want to they want to they want to crucify the people and, and, and meanwhile, let me see you in that situation. See what you're gonna do. Yeah. Come on, man. Stop it. I, I know me and Chris went left. Is this we get passionate? Hey, we we we're older, but we still love Jordans. Uh, we still uh, Chris will buy it. I won't buy it. But you will buy a pair of Jordans if I caught a sale. You know what I don't like? Chris? Hold up. No, no. Do you, you know what? The, you know when the game got fucked up for me? What? I gotta get a ticket to wait online. No. To no, no, no. I'm saying that if you go that that route. was the disconnect. Yeah, yeah. If you go that route, there's always a guy that has a guy that has a guy. No. I but my thing is, I, I was like. I was like, come on, it's not that serious. It's a fucking pair of sneakers. Exactly. I'm at a stage now where I'll go and buy a nice a nice pair of uh, a nice pair of basketball sneakers. I'll go to uh, Nike Town. Okay. Is it not, not Nike Town or it, it, yeah, it's Nike Town. I'll go to Nike Town, I'll grab me a good pair of basketball sneakers and play them and that's it. And they don't even have to be fucking Nike, that's the thing. Um as long as it's a wide foot, it has good ankle support. Yeah. Like I'm gonna go buy me those New Balance that the core got. Uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, yeah. Kawhi Leonard. I always thought New Balance were comfortable. Now I saw his thing. I said, I'm alright. I can fuck with it because I'm in the post. You know, I mean, yeah, I need yeah, comfort. Yeah. So when I do that move and when I'm dunking, you know, you, Chris, you wouldn't understand that because look what you you got. You got ankle sneakers because you're not going in the paint. Yeah. You shoot a jump shot. I'm all for, I'm, I'm all for finesse. You know, my my game has changed. Oh no, no. I'm sorry. Let's fade away. Yeah. Later. <laughs> But these are very comfortable. They're like no, no, man, no, like no, very comfortable. I have my dream pants. Very, very, very affordable. Um, uh, uh, I, I, I like them a lot. I actually got two pairs. I got gray ones and I got uh, black ones. Well, all, all joking, uh, all joking aside, if you're a young guy out there, hey man, save your money. You listen. If she's, if you think she's dating you because of the Jordans, and if she is, then you, you got bigger problems, yeah, brother. It's not, because she's a materialist. She's not girl. the one. Yeah, she's not the one. Yeah, I, I always tell young. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I always tell young guys. I say, hey, but I always tell young guys, listen. Let's say you get your little check, right? And your check is 150 dollars, and not that it's little, but let's say you get your 150 dollars, and you drop 130 dollars on a pair of sneakers. That means that only leaves 20 bucks in your pocket to your next check. Why don't you flip it around and do this? Go get a pair, a nice pair of uh, low-cut Converse. Let's say forty dollars. Get yourself a nice white tee. Get yourself a nice pair of clean shorts. Get a haircut. Now you got eighty dollars in your pocket. Guess what? When you go up to that girl, you be like, "Hey, you want to go get something to eat? You want to go to the movies? You have money to do that." The guy with the hundred thirty dollars sneakers. He's like, uh, I don't know if we could go. We gotta do an early bird special. So you're in a better predicament. Trust me, it's better to have pocket money in hand. Than a pair of sneakers and sneakers in hand. It's like a car. It's worthless. What's the bottom? Of the He'll probably say, "Let's Netflix and chill." Exactly. Meanwhile, in her house, cause he can't afford it, cause he just bought. He just bought the Jordan. Yeah, and she probably got no AC, so you'll be sweating your ass off. At the, so, at the end of the day, and I'm sorry to. No, 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 no. At the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself this question: Is it something that you want, or something that you need? Exactly. Every time you're gonna buy something, ask yourself that question. And I promise you, 80%, 85% of the time, is something that you want. You don't really need it. And look at Chris. Chris got like five pairs of Jordans. I'm not knocking them. You could get it, but you got to make sure everything's in order. Yeah, this is... Your bills are paid. You got, you got that extra income. And if you got it, by all means, knock yourself out. No, no, these are all gifts. I haven't, I haven't bought... They fell off the truck. No, hey! hey! I haven't bought a pair of Jordans in... Well, I bought those black ones, but every, everything else has been gifts. Wow, yeah, my daughter gave me these. My girl gave me these. The ones over there, wow. There you go. Your, people, this, your people love you. Now what you do is, when you, when you start talking. And Everybody needs a jerk in their life. Oh, my God. I would love those sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> that shit still works. <laughs> Yo, Chris. What's up? Switching gears. You saw Narcos? The new season. I'm down. I'm oh. up to the sixth episode. If I'm not oh, mistaken. Oh, yeah, of me. I'm only on five. Lou. Yo. Lou, I was born in the wrong time period. No, definitely, definitely. I'm telling you, Lou. What a good series. Man. Oh, my Better than God. Pablo. You know what it is? It's, take the Pablo aspect out of it. We love Pablo because that... No, but the, was, no, but, yo, the but this Mexican dude right here? I like the... I like the you look the like motherfucker right there? I like, I like mm -hmm. that he's, the he's in... So, that he's in see, I, I, I started episode seven. I like this dude too. The this thing a little like yeah, uh, you're on seven, damn. Yeah, on seven. I'm, I'm sorry, seven. I'm gonna see if I can catch two today. Today I'll finish. I'll finish today. Was on ten? Yeah. Yo, guys, if you haven't seen Narcos, phenomenal. Narcos on Netflix. Phenomenal uh, show. Yeah, ten. 
What's his name? Uh, Miguel uh, Angel Felix. Yeah, I, I, Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo. And I love when, uh-huh. he, when, when he introduces himself, he says the whole name. The whole name, yeah. That's how, that's how you do when, when, when you learn Spanish, bro. I don't have a middle name. That's it doesn't matter. Middle, that's why. I go. What's your middle name? Bro? Christian and Gallo. <laughs> no, no, it's just Neil. No, I don't know. Oh, you <laughs> hey guys, thank you. I'm sorry, could you have something to say? No, go right ahead. Yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in this week. Uh, we appreciate that you uh, you joined us. We know you have other options, but we appreciate that you come and you show us love. Uh, to all new subscribers, thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope that you can tell a friend. Key thing is to subscribe. Again, you have to have a valid email. If you have an email, then you go to your YouTube, you subscribe to the show, and you'll get all the alerts, you find out what's going on. Uh, again, yes. we're sponsored by Letty's Fine Cuisine, and uh, it's a list of uh, authentic Puerto Rican food that you can get. Hit Letty up. Hit Letty up. Her number is 917-539-2413. 917-539-2413. You can also reach her at uh, her email, which is L-F-E-R-N-A- 2488 at AOL.com. Uh, AOL? She's old school, so you know it's good. <laughs> Listen, it's, I haven't, I've never tasted such a delicious, this can, this is, you know why this is dangerous? Why? Because, because this could get you in trouble because it tastes so good yeah. and it's so light and it's going to, it's going to, you take a couple of glasses, a couple of shots of these and it's going to put you Show in. the people. Follow Viejo. If you don't know, that's authentic. Everything she does is very authentic. And this is the pistachio coquito. If you have an event, you're gonna have a party. You need, you want some authentic Puerto Rican food? Hit let the up. Yeah. And if your order is big enough, you can work that out with her. She'll have her husband deliver it. If you have electrical problems, take Boom. take advantage of it because you make an order, and you can probably get some new lights out of and it. And he'll yeah, he'll definitely come and he'll tell you most straight up guy I've ever met in my life. You you don't know you don't know what I had to go through if it's just for him to take a little a little detour and he didn't even want it. He's not into the corrupt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not into the corrupt. But again, people, thank you for joining us. Hey, uh, spoiler alert: Sunday we're dropping a beautiful episode that me and Chris are very proud of. Uh, Blackjack, Jack Ryan, uh, streetball legend, Brooklyn bred streetball legend. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the show we did live. Yeah. Uh, Blackjack. <laughs> hey, thank you. Signing out. Chris, take us all out. Doing what you love makes you one step closer to freedom. Woo! Ricky Bobby. If you're not first, you're last. Woo! <laughs> Give us that little thank you for tuning thing. in, people. Peace. Later. <laughs> Woo. It's all about the noise. <laughs> All about the noise. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, Chris. Yeah. You gotta pay the fucking Wi Fi, guys. Yeah, Wi Fi is good, but. Oh, no, you took me off. You knocked me out. That's why. Oh, okay, so I guess it's my fault. Okay, this is good. This is good. Cause people gonna, they, this is like a Marvel movie. They stay for the after credits. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're wrong. Hey, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong.